Okay, and welcome to part two of the Knicks um, review uh, for the picture frame, digital frame. And as you can see, I have the digital frame on. Um, just to show you that the on off switch is at the back there. I'm not going to press it because I will lose connection with what I've got plugged in for the camera. So this button here and then it comes on and off. Um, now the problem I've got is this lead here is not very long. Um, it could be longer considering there's no batteries power in it and it could maybe yeah a bit of an, a longer lead I would say. Now I've got it rigged up to a white lead you can see running behind the back of the TV because it's just not long enough the black lead on its own so you're quite limited to where you're going to be able to plug it in or you're going to need it near a power supply of some sort um, to, to, to keep it on. Um, so anyway, there we go. This is the remote control. I'm not going to be using the remote control. It's self-explanatory. I've not pulled the plastic out because in, a pre, in the previous part one I did say it was a gift and I don't want to pull this out to, to, make the, to activate the battery. So there you go. But there's the remote control anyway. Uh, so you can use that, but I'm just going to be using the controls on the on the unit. So we'll set that aside. Now, as you can see, this is the when you turn it on. This is the screen you're going to get. You're going to get the play. You can go now. Also, I must say that if I start fumbling, don't worry about it because it's a raw um, review. I'm not. Uh, I've not gone through this and practiced it i've gone through it a few times when once i've been testing to see how it works but that's about it so basically if i turn the unit round you will see on the back the controls this round one here press button so what you do is you just press it's self-explanatory once you've looked at it and, the, and you can see the see it move across or move back so you can put, click play but i've got nothing in at the moment i'll show you those in a second so what i'll do now is show you the SD card now this is what I've up uploaded onto it videos pictures and whatever and I'll show you where this goes now uh, so basically it goes it's a slot for SD card USB headphones so let's see if we can get this the right way around I probably won't first time there we go so we'll slot that in it's in so new storage is ready for you so it's recognized the SD card now let's see as I say I'll be fumbling about so we'll try this out now so if I go to settings and press enter on the back okay it gives you the what you can do with it on the display different settings okay and, and then there's a time time and date I've preset that it's all set as you can see there um, general just English whatever which which media priority you've got USB or SD card I've got it on uh, it's on here as USB but I'm not going to change that just yet uh, you can have it on sleep time to go on and off and so on and then back to display let's see if we can get out of this if I get it right uh, let's see now where are we? Yeah, this button here, this is the on off, and I think this is the back button. Let's see. Yeah, back button, there you go. So we can go back to play. Uh, yeah, because basically what I've got on there is video files. I've made video and combined photographs into video into, into on, a, uh, on open shot movies. So basically it won't find any um, video, any photographs as the set as jpegs or whatever file you've got them so let's just have another look see what we've got right okay so i'll press play now this what is what should have come up before and it's it asks you do you want it from the usb do you want it from sd i've put it from sd here um so play all photos or play all videos let's go down to play all video let's play all, let's go to browse so we can see what is the so here we have let's go back 
Why? You can hear my dryer on in the background. But there you go, it's raw reviews as it says. So anything can happen as you're watching and listening. Okay, let's get out of this one. Let me try and get find a video for you. It comes up. Yep, we're back to so. Browse again. Uh, brow, let me get a video for you, just to show it does play the videos. And it is very good, actually. You know. Uh, let's see. I mean, you do have to fiddle about with it a bit. I mean, I don't. There we, there we go. This is, and there we have the video, the files I've put onto it. And then same again. This but round button at the back, scrolling down. Should be this way. That's yep. There you go. Scroll. And what I found with it is you can't be too impatient. We, you know, if you press the button, it's not going to go straight there. You got to press it. Just wait. Otherwise, you'll be, it'll be sending you everywhere. So just press it once and wait. Now, what you can do with this now is browse through, as you can see it's moving, browse through the different videos that I've loaded on. So, let's see if we can get one to show you. Um, I'll show you this is a short one. So, here I'm going to press the enter button on the back and it should come up. So the sound's okay on the speaker. Okay, let's get out of that. It's a video from the start of this, so see the time, top right corner, date, day. You can change that, you can have that coming down to the bottom or wherever, larger, smaller. So you can see the video working there. I wonder if you can fast forward through that, I don't know. No, let's see. I've just moved on to the next video that I've uploaded onto the SD card. So you can scroll through. You don't have to go back into the browse menu if you've got it on. Or it'll just run through however you want. Also on it is a um, sensor button. So basically if there's any movement in a room it will automatically come on. You can adjust that in the settings. So I think, yeah, the, that's a, that's a, yeah, I, I'd I'd buy one, but I'd like it white, like I say. Another negative is the lead is not very long, um, but yeah, easy to use. Um, yeah, uh, that's great. I, I think they've got other ones out now whereby you can don't have to put your photographs whatever on an SD card. You go straight to the cloud. But uh, yeah, there you go. So um, yeah, good purchase. There you go. Hope you uh, enjoy it and goodbye.